Hey guys, Dusty here. Welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clear up space in your iCloud account. So within iCloud, you probably get that annoying notification. You need to clear up space. There's not enough room. So we're going to show you a few ways you can clear that up. So first thing you need to do is go to your settings app and then tap on your Apple ID or your username at the very top there. Uh, if we do that, we are then going to be able to access our iCloud settings right there midway down. Tap on iCloud. Uh, I'm going to show you a few things we can do here and then give you a few pointers uh, outside of iCloud that can also help you out. Now, some people may have 50 gigs, some people may have two gigs, some people may have whatever it may be for your plan. So yours may look a little differently. So the first thing that you want to do is go to manage storage, which is the first option there under your different statuses there of how much you have left. And it's going to give you the breakdown of, okay, photos are taking up 40 uh, some odd gigabytes, backups 24. It's going to let you know from the top to the bottom what's taking up the most storage all the way down to the least. So we know we need to deal with photos and backups first, and then I'll give you a few other pieces of advice as well. So go back to iCloud where we just were. Uh, and then under photos, if we're tapping on photos, you can see here that we have the iCloud photos option toggled at the very top. Now, by doing that, it's going to make sure that every single one of your photos are automatically uploaded and saved and stored within your iCloud account. Now, if that's something that you don't want to do, something you could actually do to kind of game the system is you can actually turn that off. So you can turn off iCloud photos and it's going to ask you, do you want to download these photos and videos or do you want to remove them from your iPhone? Now, I'm, I'm not going to be doing this, but if you wanted to, you could actually turn that off and then turn on the upload to my photo stream. Now, what does this do? When you upload to my photo stream, it allows you to access these on your different devices, but you got to make sure that you're uh, putting, you know, upload to my photo stream enabled on those devices. So for like my MacBook or my Mac Pro, I could enable this and then go to the iCloud website, go to the photos, download those, and then it'll automatically be removed from the actual iCloud account. That's going to clear up some space. Now, here is my pro tip for you. I would recommend switching over to Google Photos. It's completely free. All you need is a Gmail account. I'm not going to show you how to do that now. I have a tutorial video. I will link in this video that will show you how to upload automatically. Literally, every time I take a picture on this phone, it goes directly to Google Photos and I never have to worry about it again. I have all of my photos since like the iPhone 7 or 8 on the Google Photos stored and I can download them. I can edit them. Now, they are uh, downgraded just a bit, but I promise you will not notice at all. Uh, Google Photos is absolutely free and it is such a breeze to use. So that would allow you to turn off iCloud photos and that would probably solve your space issues on iCloud. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back um, to our iCloud options here and we're going to go back to manage storage and we're going to look at the second one. It's probably going to be second or third for you, which is backups. If we go to backups here, you're going to see a bunch of different backups. Now, it's going to show you this iPhone, which says Dusty's iPhone 5.8 gigabytes. There is another one that says Dusty's iPhone. Now, this one here, I don't need. So this guy here, this is a backup from an old phone. And if I delete this, I'm going to be freeing up 11.3 gigabytes of space. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off this and delete. And as you can see, I now instantly have over 11 gigabytes free. I also have Dusty's iPod Touch. I sold that on eBay like years ago. If I click that there, remove that, that's going to automatically give me almost 700 megabytes of storage uh, now available on my iCloud account. So that's number two. First one is photos. Second is backups. Now, the last thing that you can do with an iCloud is you can go back here to the main iCloud uh, settings page, and it says here apps using iCloud. Now, what this means if these are checked, this means that these apps are backing up on iCloud. So you, you may have the mail one checked there at the very top. This one is atrocious. This one will back up all the attachments, all the different things of that nature. I would uncheck that and find a better way to kind of back up that system. Uh, I always keep contacts checked, uh, calendars checked, uh, but reminders and notes and things like that, I really don't need those backed up. Uh, and, and also messages. These can be taking up a ton of storage in your iCloud. If you're backing up messages, all of those attachments and things that come through, uh, not all the gifts and things like that are being backed up, but a lot of data is being stored and sent through your messages. Safari, news stocks, all of these here, I can actually turn off. And when you can see here, when I uncheck one of these, I can actually keep it on my iPhone or delete from my iPhone. If I delete that from my iPhone, that's going to delete the current data. I wouldn't do that. I would actually select keep on my iPhone. That way, the current data is uh, safe and, and kept on there. I like to keep my health and wallet and home stuff there. But you can go through here and see what do you want to do as far as which apps do you want to be backed up. 
that's kind of what I would do. So those are some tips of how you can free up some storage on your iCloud account. If you have any tips of your own, please put those in the comment section below. If this video helped you, don't forget to help me by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.